Hello folks, um, Apoorva here. So, um, I work as a product manager at Yellow AI and I help customers build their own bots um, via our cloud platform. And today we are going to build uh, a very interesting lead generation bot for WhatsApp. So I've taken up sort of a challenge uh, to build a bot in the minimum time possible and we'll see how we can create a simple bot with maybe some quick reply buttons and uh, list options uh, and maybe we'll add some images as well to it uh, and let's see how much time we'll take to build such a bot so of course to build such a bot what all we'll need what all will be the ingredients and steps to do it so of course you'll have to sign up and create a bot on our platform so we'll add links of documentation tutorials for the same uh, uh, of this video we'll add that in the description you can check it from there and then how you can initiate whatsapp channel setup for that also we'll add the description uh, and the documentation now coming to the next step which is uh, we'll just jump into building the bot add a welcome message and create a journey to collect these users ka details so let's come over here to the platform i'll quickly go to the main page of the platform okay so um, i have sort of already signed up and created a bot over here what we will do is um, we will jump into bot building from here so from the overview page you will see that there is a quick start option to guide you on what to be the first few steps and then we have a marketplace as well so if you want you can start from a template for now since we have taken up this challenge, we will uh, start from scratch. And I would like to start by adding a welcome message. So I'll just click on add a welcome message. And um, yeah, we will add a pretty, pretty welcome message to this screen. So I would want to build a lead generation board for um, a small startup, uh, which allows customers to own uh, pets. So you say something like, hello, dog lovers and uh, add maybe a quick reply option over here like how can i help you today and the button will be something like become a dog owner so this is how my welcome message will be and the next thing that I want to do is create a journey. A journey is basically the next thing that will happen after a welcome message, which is initiating a conversation between the user and the bot. So that is what uh, will happen via a journey. So we will create the same journey over here, become the owner. And uh, so we can either add a start trigger over here or um, uh, a start trigger is basically different ways in which you can initiate a journey. So for now, let me add an intent. Let's say something like want a dog. And this is the intent name. The utterances can be I want a dog. How can I become a dog owner? Tell me how to own a dog. I would love to get a dog and things which are the utterances which align in the same direction of wanting a dog and uh, there's this restriction of our platform that we have to have minimum of two intents for the nlp model to work in the best way possible so we'll just add maybe one more utterance over here i know if my team sees the best intent they're gonna kill me but we will just we want to build this bot ASAP so we'll just skip through that we can add of course better intents later as we build upon more use cases in the platform now since I've uh, added the start trigger the next thing I would want to do is um, add nodes to it or how I'll uh, move ahead in the conversation so I'll add an acknowledgement now let's say uh, we would love for you to own a dog but before getting started we'll need some information so uh, 
I usually create a separate journey for collecting um, user details. It's good in the long run because if you create multiple journeys um, or multiple conversation flows, you can always use the same user details journey for different journeys out there. So what we'll do in this user journey is we'll ask for the name of the person. Then we'll ask for, let's say, the email of the person. And I would also like to know if they have owned a pet before or not. So I will, let's say, add quick replies over here. So, and I will ask. So this question we need not have in the user details bit. This is something that we can have in the become a dog owner bit. I'll show you how to do it. Let's close this journey for now. And we'll just say thank you so much for the details. Done. We'll come back to become a dog owner journey and we will trigger that journey from here, user details, and we will ask one more question, which is quick replies. And we'll say, have you ever owned a pet or dog before? And we can add replies like yes and no. Okay. So... Yeah, and if they say whatever, we'll just say got it. And I want to say thanks for sharing. Our team will get in touch with you very soon. Okay, so no matter what response they give over here, we will thank the user. And since there was a fallback over here, we'll say something like, um, can you please repeat that? So this will come if they uh, don't give the correct answer and we also do, don't know the answer to it or we have not trained the bot for the answer to it. This is also something we can discuss in detail later. For now, let's see how this particular journey has turned out to be. So I've opened preview and I'll press on the home button to just refresh the settings of the bot. And it says it gives the same welcome message as we have defined in the welcome uh, flow earlier. And it also gives us a button. Once I click on become a dog owner, it triggers my dog owner journey. So we would love to for you to own a dog. And then it is asking me for my name, for my email address and thank you so much for the details and i will say yes and we'll close the journey from there so this is how we can create a very simple lead generation bot and i have nailed that in eight minutes so that is something but we would like to recreate this entire flow on whatsapp so if you would like to uh, recreate the whole flow on whatsapp two things we'll have to do one is we'll have to go to channels and uh, integrate with whatsapp so we have this scan the QR code option if you would like to do, uh, if you would like to just test it out in the test environment or you can go ahead and click on connect your WhatsApp at it's a very simple three step process which will allow you to give the display name for your account, um, give what kind of company you are and so on and so forth. And once you have given that information, um, after verifying your WhatsApp business number, doing the OTP verification bit, um, your account will be created and your bot will be connected to the number that um, you have given over here. It's a very simple three-step process. We'll add the documentation for it in the description. For now, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and connect this number to one of the bots that I have or one of the accounts that I already have created. Okay, so I have connected the WhatsApp account to this particular bot for now. You can, of course, as I explained earlier, you can go through this process and your account or your number will also get connected to the bot. And now what we'll do is we will test out this journey. So this is the bot that I have connected. Um, this is the number that I've connected to that bot. What I'll do is I'll just say yes or hi or something and try initiating this bot. Or we'll say become a dog owner. Let me check. Okay, so my bot is connected and I have figured out the number where my bot has been connected. So what we'll do now is we'll try the same journey. 
become a dog owner here. Let's see the response I get. So it is triggering the same journey and it is asking me for my name over here. Then it will ask me for my email address. And have you ever owned a pet or dog? So right now it has converted those quick reply buttons um, that we had here into one or two sequence. So for now I can give answers in terms of one, two, three. Now what we'll do is we'll add quick replies over here. How we will do it, do that? Let's see. So we have something called as a channel filter. So we'll go to logic and we'll add a channel filter here. So if channel is WhatsApp, then we will do something. Otherwise, we will show these quick replies only. So if we have WhatsApp, what we'll do is we will add um, carousals and we have sort of a trick over here that for whatsapp as a channel when you use carousal um, you'll be able to add um, the whatsapp quick reply bit over here so we can say have you ever used oh sorry have you ever owned a dog or a pet before owned a dog or a pet before and we will give buttons me yes and the answer is also yes and another button for no and no cool so this is done and once they say thank you we will show the same result now let's see whether it's working or not we'll again say become a dog owner it will ask me for my name, it will ask me for my email address and now these serial numbered options have been changed to buttons. So a yes and a no. So via this we have created a very simple lead generation bot on WhatsApp. Now of course there are a lot uh, of other features as well that we can add to the bot but we will add those features as a part of part two uh, of this particular webinar so thank you so much everyone go ahead and try out building a very simple uh, lead generation bot and in our next session what we'll do is we'll um, set up a few more things in this bot and make it look much better um, we'll collect uh, things like user details only once per user we'll save the phone number of the user from whatsapp directly without actually asking the user and um, a few more tips and tricks here and then so i guess the next session will be much more exciting and this was just helping you set up a very basic whatsapp bot within minutes so thank you so much everyone have a great day ahead uh, feel free to ask any questions and answers uh, in the comment section thanks bye